Hey guys, major day for Apple today. A lot of software has just been released by Apple, including new HomePod software, Apple Watch, and so much more. Now there's also a lot of bug fixes and a lot of things that I wanna talk about. Also, how to install the official software if you were running beta six for iOS 11.3, because something rather interesting, Apple did not send a gold master copy to developers before sending 11.3 to the general public, which is a little bit scary in some way because the Siri bug, although it appears to be fixed, I could have been an issue that could have still persisted, but it looks like Apple has fixed it. There's also some features that were taken away uh, with this beta that are no longer here with us. For those of you who were asking about iMessages in the cloud, yes, they're gone. You saw the tab there just completely disappeared uh, from iOS 11.3 as I went to the tab there. It is no longer present. So unfortunately, also AirPlay 2 did not make the final cut. Now, Apple released 11.3 today to the general public alongside watchOS 4.3 as well as well as tvOS 11.3 so what's new with this software what is Apple giving us with 11.3 although they did take away a bunch of stuff well we see the augmented reality updates we see the battery health which is still in beta I'm going to show you that feature here this is the feature right here and again it's still in beta but this is the feature that's going to allow you uh, to see the health of your battery if it's getting old or if it needs a replacement and if it's in its peak performance in order for the device to not be throttled or slowed down now if your device is throttled or slowed down because of the battery capacity is lower than i uh, say 60 then you have the option to disable it but since mine's 100 percent it doesn't give me the option uh, to disable throttling but you can occur uh, some unexpected shutdowns if you do disable the throttle. I mean, that's the main reason Apple uh, did implement that in the uh, official build. Now, right here with iPad, there's a new management system to protect the battery, actually. So if you have a kiosk or something like that where your iPad is constantly connected to a power source so it doesn't burn the battery out, that feature is now available for iPads here as well. New N emojis, we talked about these really cool N emojis. Updates in the privacy section. We also have some business chat. We also talked about that. And if you want to see my beta coverage, by the way, I have all the links down below for the six videos of beta coverage that I have for 11.3. If you want to see how these features being added and explained, you also have the health record, which is US only. By the way, business chat is US only as well. Uh, you also have new features and new add ons to the Apple Music and the uh, news application. Just minor updates happening there. Inside of the App Store, you also have different options here. You can sort uh, the customer ratings and you also have updates to the updates tab inside of the App Store, which allows you to see the version and the file size. Improvement within Safari, a lot of privacy updates there as well. Some updates to the keyboard, additional languages have been added. Accessibility, there's also a bunch of stuff that was added here. Again, links in the description if you want to watch that coverage other information and fixes and other implementations to help the OS feel a lot safer and a lot stable, or more stable, I should say, within iOS 11.3 has been added as well. So let me go ahead and show you the latest build number for iOS 11.3, and it's gonna be 15E216 or 218, depending if you have an iPad or an iPhone, depending on your device. Now, if you have iOS 11.3 beta 6, and you don't get prompted to update to the official build. Here's what you have to do. I have my iPhone here running beta six. Here's the build number for beta six. So what you have to do is you wanna scroll all the way down here and you wanna go ahead and remove your beta profile. So just enter your passcode. Once you enter the passcode, remove it. And then all you have to do is power off the iPhone and then reboot it, okay? So that's what we're gonna do here. Now, while this iPhone is booting down and reboots, I want to go here into this other iPhone and show you that there is also a software update for the HomePod. Those of you who bought the HomePod, you want to tap here. Then you want to go to HomePod settings or home settings. You want to choose my home. And then what you want to do is you want to go to software updates and you'll get prompted to get a software update here for the HomePod. Now, this is more for stability controls. You see here uh, improvements on stability and quality of the product. So it's not an update that's going to give you uh, the multi-connection. Unfortunately, that's still not here. But here it is. The iPhone has officially booted up. I removed the profile for the beta. If I go to software updates and you don't get prompted, try again, reboot again. But there it is. The official build coming in at 2.18 gigabytes, give or take, depending on your device. So there it is. I can go ahead and update this beta device to an official uh, build again because Apple did not give us a gold master copy. There's just a ton of new changes, a ton of new fixes. Of course, if 
you're intending to jailbreak in the future something i did want to point out you want to stay away from the latest versions of ios because of course more security has been added but there you guys have it that is everything i wanted to share with you guys again the entire coverage of 11.3 will be in the description down below i hope you guys enjoyed the video let me know if you're going to be updating to 11.3 and are you disappointed or are you happy with the new build? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's been iDevice Help, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.